guidance that other cabinet officials is sim similar to the guidance that officials all across the government have gotten, which is that they should use their official government account for official government business. That was White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest outlying government policy on email use. We now know then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton at best simply didn't follow the rules. And since this scandal broke, there have been a lot of questions about the inevitability of Hillary Clinton as the Democratic nominee come 2016. Just take a look at the latest Fox News poll. When asked, does the word honest describe Hillary Clinton? 52% of Americans said no. Compare that to April 2014. Only 42% no. And we should point out, this poll was taken March 1st through 3rd before a lot of the details about the email scandal had even come out. Daniel Harper is the online editor at the Weekly Standard and the author of this book, Clinton, Inc. Daniel, thanks for being here with us. We appreciate it. It's great to be here. Thank you. Take me through this. You've got a lot of sources inside Clinton world. Are they in panic mode yet? Yeah, it appears to be that they're in panic mode. Look, they've known about this for six months, and yet they had never devised the strategy for how to deal with it properly. I think one thing they found... Is that because they just couldn't come up with one? There isn't a strategy? Well, I, I, I think there's that's part of it. I, I think the other part is they didn't really realize that we're in 2015 and that campaigns move differently and that this kind of thing can dominate the campaign cycle and won't go away until questions are answered. One thing I've found strange is that the Obama administration now realizes that it's a scandal for themselves, that they look bad, and they're beginning to sell her out a little bit. You see that with Josh Ernest in that clip that you well, played. Well, Marie Harf as well. You Marie sort Harf of seen the kind of saying, Jared even. <laughs> saying, she, we're, not, we're washing our hands at this one. It's some level, Bill Clinton was the Teflon president. He was able to get through anything. Hillary Clinton, things stick to a little bit more. We saw, obviously, the dead broke comment really stuck to her. The comment, uh, obviously, the foreign campaign contributions to the Clinton Foundation, the one from Algeria, really stuck. And now this, is she just not able to deal with things is deftly, shall we say, as her husband? She certainly doesn't have the political skills of her husband. That's without question. She doesn't have the, she's not gregarious, she's not friendly, she's not warm in, in the public persona the way her husband is. And there's a likability and a trust factor, as your poll points out. People just aren't sure whether she's telling the truth. The problem with a lot of these Clinton scandals is that eventually you begin to wonder whether they think they're above the law, whether, they're, whether they whether think Whether they actually believe it at some point. Believe exactly. It, believe and the so lies. this is extremely problematic. A narrative begins to stick, and I think it affects them. People start to wonder, well, if she's president of the United States, is this how she's going to govern above the law? And if so, maybe that's not for them. And obviously over at the Weekly Standard, you guys have been doing yeoman's work covering this. But what's interesting is this story was broken by the New York Times. And take a listen to what MSNBC had to say about it. Can you imagine table if this was Dick Cheney and he had a server in McLean, Virginia? <laughs> oh, my well, Lord. <laughs> Let me just thing. say, I'd be go I'm just going to be transparent. This is I'd go crazy. I would be completely off the hook if it were, and I'm I'm trying to be because I do think sometimes there's a little bit of bias that sneaks into this, but this is wrong. A moment of honesty from Mika Brzezinski there. But on the other hand, you had Jack Schaefer write in Politico earlier today. He said, Team Clinton will beat the press again. That was the headline of his column. Who's right? Well, they also had a Bloomberg report saying that the Clintons believe that the press will eventually forget about it and move on to bigger issues. Um, I think they're partly both right. I mean, I think it, it, there is a double standard, and I think eventually a lot of the mainstream press will say, emails, that's old news. We've already discussed it. A year from now, uh, it will be old ancient news, you know, when, when voters start going to the polls. And obviously, that's what the Clintons want. They don't want this sticking in the way that uh, many people might, in the way it might with many people. And I, obviously we'll have to see whether this derails her campaign even before it starts. A lot of people have said that as a possibility. It certainly sure. made a lot of bedwetting on the left, and a lot of them are looking toward other candidates. Daniel Harper from the Weekly Standard. We appreciate your time, sir. Thanks. Thank you, All right.